When prototyping a new circuit, engineers often use schematics, simulations, and breadboards to help explain and demonstrate their ideas. However, when it comes to finalizing circuits, such techniques are not ideal. A customer doesn't care about the giant mess of wires in a circuit, and the company doesn't want to deal with the issues of connections coming out. Thus, the PCB was born. PCBs stand for printed circuit boards and are widely used today. If you've cracked open a computer or an electrical device, you might have noticed a green plate sitting in the middle of said device, and that's a PCB. PCBs are used both during the end of testing and production. But why should we even have the PCBs in the first place? PCBs give a sense of finality to the circuit. A machine prints out copper traces to connect the components together, so it becomes much more difficult for the circuit to randomly fail. Since most of the work is fed through a computer, this gives us the ability to automate some of that work, making it desirable in a company setting, as then it can be cheaply made, automated, and quick to make. Imagine having the customer assemble the circuit on a breadboard, and PCBs then become much more desirable. PCBs can have multiple layers on them, leading to intricate connections. These layers are made of copper to conduct electricity and substrate to bind them together. A silk screen is used to etch important markings on the board for information. Some other features you can find on PCBs include vias and pads, which depend on the component you use for the PCB. The most common components you'll find for PCBs are through-hole and surface mount components. Through-hole components, as by their name, need a hole to place the part. These are attached to the PCB through vias, which are essentially holes in the board electrically connected to the copper layers. On the other hand, Surface mount components are flat and do not require a via. Instead, they are connected by conductive pads, which they are then soldered to. Surface mount designs have taken over the industry and are widely used over through-hole components. Comparing the two components, there are multiple advantages in using surface mount parts. Since they are much smaller, there can be a higher density of components per area, so the board size can be reduced. Since copper pads do not cut through the board, Unlike vias, they do not disturb the copper planes by potentially cutting off connections through the board. It is also much easier to automate the soldering of surface mount parts, since they simply need to be placed on the pad that has solder paste applied and stuck within the reflow oven, which will then heat the paste and solder the part. Through-hole components haven't gone away though, since some parts need extra protection to physical contact as SMT devices tend to be smaller and more fragile. SMT components also tend to have much more trouble conducting heat away from the part, since they can only utilize the copper plane they are on to use as a conductive sink. However, due to the cost, weight, and size, SMT components tend to be chosen over the through-hole components.